What I've just done is I've coated the whole car in a the um, rust proofing again. So I've got this stuff here. It's uh, it's hardcore stuff, um, rust converter. So yeah, what that's basically done is I've just used a paintbrush, gone over basically all the bare metal of the car. <laughs> so I'm going to see how this actually turns out. I'm going to see what it looks like. I really like the look of it. I'm thinking I might just clear coat over the top of it. Not sure yet, but I just always wanted this bare metal look, you know. Look how good these lead fills come out. So yeah, keep going. So today, today's project is going to be cutting out a new piece for this. This is all done. And cutting out and making a new section here. Absolute mission. That's all done. I bought some new grinding discs so I can grind all that nasty world back. But yeah, this bit's gonna be the ultimate. The ultimate challenge. So yeah, here we go. Right, so I've done a fair bit of cutting away here. And as you can see, she's an absolute mess. Um, but I've got this piece down here now that I need to cut out and I just don't know how to cut it out. I've got no grinder that can get down in there. Well, don't know what I'm gonna do. I have realized that if I'm gonna have any hope in hell of actually repairing this half decently, it's such a mess in there. I'm actually gonna cut it here I'm going to cut it off here up to maybe here so I'm going to cut this whole section out just so that I've got room to get in there and then obviously I'm going to try and re-weld it when it comes when it gets to that time I'm super scared about doing this but I really can't see any possible way I'm going to be able to get in there to fix all this awful shit metal. It's going to be a cut and shut mission. Oh, I'm scared. I might leave this recording while I do it. Set this up here. Here we go gonna be ugly terrible let's prop this up oh, Jesus. here we go
Here we go. I don't even know which way it goes. Oh no, what have I done? But as you can see, like fully rusted out down there. Had to be done. Now we'll have a better look at what we've got here. That all looks like good solid steel, but all of this is just wafer thin. It's just a dog's breakfast. So, oh, here we go. Start the cut and shut, start the welding. I might actually drill some holes in this as well so that the water can seep out of it. I reckon that all this rust has probably happened because it's just built up with water. Shit design. But that's Volkswagen for you. So here she is. I've cleaned out all this gunk now from the bottom of this C pillar. And I've got uh, some much heavier steel here to work with but it's going to be an absolute mission absolute mission so I need to build this up so I can join these two together that's going to be my first mission to try and get build this up weld it all, all to that just to give me that first edge and I'm going to have to use that um, other C pillar piece to be able to do that. So yeah, maybe I'll I'll build that bottom section up there to join it onto this top section, just for starters. Okay, trial and error here. So I've just basically made this part, and I'm going to start welding this in, and uh, I suppose this is just the beginning of something i don't know what it's going to be but it, it's going to be strong that's all i care about strength in this c pillar so here we go time to go home now but i've had a good crack at it managed to weld that piece all back in now and the rest of it i can finish off come up pretty good i'll be able to grind all that back and make it look sweet but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with my efforts, really. Not a bad Sunday Arvo.